We've seen over the last few days different things about Jesus, some of his teachings, some of his miracles, who his followers were. But also we know that there are those who didn't like him, those who were opposed to him, those who wanted to get rid of him. And ultimately among his disciples there would be one who would betray him. Jesus met with his disciples on the Thursday and the events unfolded. Things took quite a dramatic turn. And let's reflect upon some of those events now and what took place that will lead us to Good Friday. And he told his disciples. You will all fall away, Jesus told them, for it is written. I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter declared, even if all fall away, I will not. Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, today, yes tonight, before the rooster crows twice, you yourself will disown me three times. But Peter insisted emphatically, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the others said the same. Jesus met with the disciples and they shared in what was the Last Supper. Jesus broke the bread, poured out the wine, as his body would be broken and his blood would be shed. Not just for the disciples who, who he was there with at the time, but for us as well. And not only that, as they were there, Jesus said, one of you will betray me. We can imagine the change in environment, the change in the atmosphere, as they wondered who it might be. These were difficult times. They must have really struggled to understand. But Jesus knew what lay ahead. Jesus knew what was coming. Jesus struggled with what lay ahead. Going a little farther, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. He went to the garden, overwhelmed with sorrow, knowing what lay ahead. And he agonised over what to do. And said, not my will, but yours be done. Soon after that, the moment of his arrest would come. The moment of betrayal that he had said would happen from one of his disciples. Jesus knew he would be betrayed. It was Judas. He arrived and there were some soldiers. Judas told them who Jesus was. The men seized Jesus and arrested him. Then everyone deserted him and fled. If we think back to the events of Palm Sunday, we can see how much changed in just a few days. We've heard about Jesus and his teachings, his miracles, those that followed him and those who were afraid of him, those who opposed him. And now it's reached this point where he's been arrested. On Good Friday, we come to something so central to our Christian faith. It might seem so strange, but it was God's rescue plan. Jesus knew what was coming. And we've had this sense throughout the events on that Thursday. Join us tomorrow as we reflect upon the events of Good Friday. The ultimate demonstration of God's great love.